Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I thought I would do um, just kind of a Valentine's Day home decor tour. Um, <clears throat> I'm always curious how you guys decorate for Valentine's Day or any kind of holiday for that matter or decorating in general. Um, so I thought I'd kind of take you along and show you what I did around here. I hope you like it and enjoy. Okay guys, this is my, uh, I guess my formal living room. It's the front living room. Uh, my house is 97 years old, so it kind of has two because that was popular back then. Um, the only thing I have in here, um, or in the chair I guess, is just a little teddy bear that my husband got me for Valentine's Day last year. Um, I thought he was so cute, I had to hang on to him. And you think he looks kind of cute right there in the chair, just hanging out. And then over on the mantel, I have, let's see if I can, there we go. The lighting in here is either great or horrible. There's no in between. Um, I just have the garland from, oh, it was from the Target dollar spot. I also have a wreath that I made in a DIY. I will try to link that in the description box below if you're interested in making one for yourself. And then I have a little um, heart sign I got from Hobby Lobby. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, the glass vase I just got from the dollar store and there was like a pack of necklaces. I don't know if you can see that. I just kind of used that as filler in the vase. And I just literally stuck some pics in there and I think it looks kind of cute. And then I have my beautiful orchid that my husband bought me when I reached 100 subscribers. I thought that was super cute of him to, uh, I don't know, kind of celebrate and reward me and I don't know. I thought it was cute. But that is it for my front room. I don't, like I said, this is the very first year I've ever decorated for Valentine's Day. And I don't believe in breaking the bank simply because I want to decorate. I'm going to do like I did with Christmas and collect every year. And then eventually I will have a stash of Valentine's Day decorations. Okay guys, moving on to the dining room. Um, I just have two of the little red heart votives on either side of the table. Um, I thought that'd be kind of cute for Valentine's Day dinner. We're actually going to be staying in this year because we don't want to spend any money on going out to eat in the month of February. So I'm going to get creative with a nice Valentine's Day dinner. Over on the fireplace, I just have the Red Heart uh, Love sign from picked up from the Dollar Tree. I have the little tray kind of propped up on my cake stand. Um, I got both of those at the Target dollar spot. And then I picked up this little, um, it's a vase from the Dollar Tree. Um, I, it's supposed to be used as a vase, I'm pretty sure, um, but I'm gonna use it as a carafe for whatever drinks we have for Valentine's Day dinner. But that is it for my dining room. Um, not a whole lot going on in here but just enough to kind of make it special. Um, like I said, I'm gonna build up my arsenal year by year. Okay, now we're in my kitchen. Um, I just have a couple of uh, fun little window clings on the refrigerator. They work just fine over there. In the corner, I have that little sign I got at the Dollar Tree. It says, love each moment. I just kind of swapped out uh, what I had normally there and stuck that sign in. I do have to kind of brag a little bit. <laughs> I have so many friends and family up in the polar vortex uh, suffering through and that little uh, daffodil was in my yard yesterday. So <laughs> one of the few benefits of living in the South. Okay, over to my window. I just put up a couple of window clings. I, I like them. I think they're fun. Um, a little, uh, oh, what you call it, a dish towel. I picked that up at the Dollar Tree. You guys, I got a couple comments on the 
topiary stands that I have on either side of my window. Um, literally all they are, I bought the topiaries about a year or two ago and then I uh, wrapped them with uh, fairy lights which I guess I should turn those on for you. Okay, I'm turn them around so you can't even see the, the little light box. But, um, so yeah, I just wrapped them with fairy lights, I stuck a bow on them, and then I put them on pillared candlesticks. That's it, that's all I did. <laughs> I wish I could take more creative license, but uh, I don't know. I like them, I think they're cute. On the other side of the kitchen, I just have one last little thing. On the door of my pantry, I picked up the little sign, I have found the one whom my soul loves. Um, I found that at Hobby Lobby and I plan on keeping that up, not necessarily here, but all year long because I think it's so pretty. Over in the living room, I just have a couple things. Um, on top of the television stand, I have my heart tree that I made. I made a DIY video on that and if you're interested on making one for yourself, which most of the items came from the dollar store in my backyard, <laughs> I'll link that video in the description box below. The little bless your heart sign came from the dollar tree and the little conversation heart tin came from Target dollar spot, I want to say. That's pretty much all I have other than a couple of window clings over on the double doors and a little um oh it's a little heart uh belled door hanger that my cat absolutely loves to jingle all the time and my husband wants to throw it out the window that is it for my living room uh valentine's day decor That is it for my Valentine's Day decor tour for 2019. It's the first year I've decorated for the holiday, so I don't have a whole lot, and I'm not gonna break the bank uh, just to go out and have a fully decorated house. That's kind of the fun of aging, <laughs> is getting more and adding more to your collection. You know, for Christmas, I've got lots of stuff, and it's taken me about 12 years of adulthood to get all that stuff. Um, so if this is your first year decorating, don't feel bad if you don't have a house full of beautiful knickknacks um, to celebrate a holiday. That's part of growing and aging. You will get there. Trust me. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I will see you in the next one, guys.